Thing now on your forecast with Katie Capers, alert meteorologist Ron Smiley. Yeah, and Ron, I would say that April has not gotten off to maybe the brightest start. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, temperatures have been a little bit lower. I believe today 58 and 38 are our averages. So 58, that average high temperature, 38, the uh, average low temperature. So we have seen temperatures a little bit below that, and we're expecting that to remain in place today. 31, your temperature right now, so we're already below the average uh, start uh, for this time of the year. Starting to see those clouds roll again, and in fact, for the day, we're going to be looking at mostly cloudy to overcast skies. Winds are still fairly light out of the north northeast at three miles an hour, so there's no additional wind chill uh, that's going to be out there this morning. What about temperatures? Here they are right at 30 degrees for most places as we're starting off. There's some areas, obviously, there's slightly below 28 in Butler and Washington, Blainsburg at 31 and containing coming in at 26 degrees. But overall, we're right around the 30 degree mark as we're starting off. We do have some rain that we're watching just off to the west. You can see it starting to slide into places like uh, Indiana, moving into the Cincinnati area, starting to move into Ohio. Heaviest of the rain is going to be up in the Fort Wayne area, right around the Notre Dame area as well in northern parts of Indiana. So this is all going to be heading our way. And in fact, as it is set to arrive, it's going to be drying out, but still will give us an isolated chance for some rain. Doesn't look like it's going to be very much at all. As you just saw model data, we have a better chance for seeing some rain tomorrow. First, as this warm kind of an outer band of this big area of low pressure coming in off of the Gulf of Mexico comes in. We've talked a lot about these big systems off of the Gulf. They're oftentimes wrapped in a lot of moisture, and that brings some big rain totals our way, and sometimes even some snow totals will be possible depending on just how cold it is. This will be all rain this time, but man, we're looking at as we're heading into Wednesday morning, some really big rain totals being possible as the system slides through our area. It'll be out of here by the time the morning rush gets going on Wednesday, but we could have several inches of rain that's going to be possible. We also have some stormy conditions expect. You can see that there for Wednesday afternoon. So today we're not looking at a lot when it comes to rain. Just a passing shower or two it does look like the further down to the southwest you are the better the chance for maybe seeing around five hundredths of an inch of rain or so. Big totals, though, are expected as we're heading into tomorrow, just depending on the core of that system and where it is expected to slide through. So even though I'm not going to issue just yet, first alert weather days, Tuesday and Wednesday, I am going to show you the red area there, and there is a high likelihood that we could see a first alert weather day issued for Tuesday into Wednesday because of just how heavy those rains uh, are. Right now, not all data is agreeing. I'm looking into things that could be issued probably uh, if it's issued later on this morning. For today, 51, your expected high, just a passing shower here or there. Here's a look at your forecast. I think we hit about uh, 51 for our high. Afternoon, most of the afternoon will be into the mid to upper 40s is what it looks like at this time. Here's your seven day. 51 today up to 59 even with the rain around. That's a warm front remember that comes in on Tuesday and then 67 degrees your Wednesday high. A lot of the day on uh, Wednesday will be dry, but some stormy conditions will be possible in the afternoon. Thursday a high of 63 and we're back to cooler weather into the uh, weekend with still some rain chances around Friday, Saturday and on Sunday.